Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share a stamping video with you um, from a recent haul that I did from scrapbook.com. I got some of One Canoe Two's new stamps. Um, they're acrylic stamps as you can see. And basically the idea behind the stamp set is to create your own flowers um, using a layering technique with the different stamps. And I've never really done this before so I was really excited about giving it a shot. And I just thought I would make a video of the process. So you can see that there are some solid stamps that are in the background of your flowers and of your leaves. So I'm just trying those first. Um, you can see I'm using my eraser to rough up the new stamps the first time that I use each one. And that's just something that um, I learned from watching YouTube and that I always do with new stamps. Um, so I'm just going through and stamping these three different flower sizes um, throughout this page. I'm just using an inexpensive sketchbook because that's what I had around. Um, and I'm using my Memento Dewdrop inks because um, that's what I've got on hand. So um, the only problem that I'm really having with these you'll notice is that I needed to grab my smaller acrylic block. This one is kind of long for rotating, especially with the spiral from this notebook. Um, so that's a little bit wonky, but I didn't want to dig around and find it. So um, other than that, I've stamped the bases in a light blue. And then I'm going over the top and stamping the line detail for each corresponding flower with a darker blue. And the next thing that I'm going to do is going to be the leaves. Um, you can see that it doesn't really matter too much how you line up the um, lines that you can put on the flower. Some of mine are, I try really hard to match them up and some of them I don't really worry about it at all. And I think that it turned out um, pretty well regardless of which way that I did it. But you can obviously match them up as much as you want. Um, but I just am kind of playing here. So next I'm using the long leaf that has three little leaves kind of on a sprig and I'm just using a light green to add those and now I'm using um, another leaf here. This is um, a little two leaf sprig and I'm just kind of going through and adding them around. I really don't have too much of a uh, method here. I'm just kind of playing, um, adding the leaves where I feel like there are blank spaces that they will fit. Um, I'm using the single leaf as well and I'm kind of layering it over the top of itself to make a different two leaf um, sort of arrangement. And I'm just kind of filling in some of the blank spots trying to make it look a little more like clusters of actual flowers. I think probably the closer you put things together, the more realistic it will look. Um, but again, I'm just playing. So now I'm using a darker green and I'm using the outline for the leaves to kind of give it those veins. And it's actually covering up a lot more of the leaf than I thought that it would. But um, I don't mind that too much. So I'm going through and using the um, next outline of the leaves. I'm matching some of them up and letting some of them be pretty messy and not really match and that's totally fine with me. I also go in later and add some leaves, um, some leaf outlines by themselves that aren't at all matched up with um, a leaf background stamp. So it just kind of depends. Just really playing around trying to get a feel for how these stamps work and layer and what I like. And sorry some of this is off screen, I'm doing a lot of rotating and uh, moving things around. And again, that long stamp block is getting in the way, so I definitely recommend using something smaller that's easier to just kind of turn. Um, yeah, probably something like half the size, less than half the size would be optimal. Um, most of these stamps are not too big. And I'm just kind of going through and looking at some that I missed and want to go back over. And now I'm going to go back to the um, little middles of the flowers. And I didn't really notice at first that that's what these little pieces are, but they are the very center of the flowers. And 
Um, the sideways flowers are kind of hard to match up. I think they look okay, even if they're not, you know, in the right spot. But I'm going to be honest and say I haven't really figured out what the quote-unquote right spot is supposed to be for those sideways facing flowers. But um, I think that it looks nice. I think that I'll probably play with this in a few more colors. I've done one that's yellow with some um, orange you know lines and accents and I think that that turned out cute as well um here I'm using the leaf lines to make some more like it's just a different type of leaf in that same light green color just to kind of give it some more um depth and variation so yeah there's a lot to play with with these stamps I haven't even used the hearts or the um, lettering yet at all, but I'm excited to continue to play around with it um, because it's really kind of just a fun way to stamp. So now you can see a close-up. Um, I've stuck some pictures in here. I really like how it turned out. I think it's really fun and I could see using it on Project Life cards or greeting cards that you make yourself. All kinds of options here and I love that it allows you to create this beautiful floral in any colors that you want to as long as you can find the ink um, yes yeah, so you can also see the yellow one that I made um, let me know what you guys think let me know how you enjoyed this video um, I'm always interested to see what type of videos you guys want to be watching um, so let me know in the comments and I will keep those coming your way um, thank you again I'll see you next time bye